Good day folks. In this video I'll show you how to clean format a computer running Windows 10 that you have upgraded from Windows 7 or 8.1. Uh, so to begin with you need to make sure that your upgrade from Windows 7 or 8.1 is successful and that your Windows is genuine and activated. To check your Windows activation status you'll need to go to settings and head over to upgrade and security update and security click on activation and check if your windows is activated or not if the activation status shows windows is activated you're good to go and just close this and open your web browser now from this website we're going to download something called media creation tool so you can create a bootable usb drive i have a 32 gigabyte usb drive here but you can also use a uh, 8 gigabyte pen drive for this uh, tool to work so I'm going to put, the, put this link down in the description so you guys can click there and head over to this website directly so scroll down and download the appropriate tool for your windows uh, to see what uh, version of windows you're running right click on the start menu and uh, click on system so here you can see we are running a 32-bit version of Windows. So we are going to download the 32-bit 32-bit uh, tool. If you are running a 64-bit uh, edition of Windows, then download the 64-bit tool. So once the downloading finishes, we are going to run the tool. At this point of time, we can just close this website and wait for the tool to launch. And then we are going to plug this pen drive in. So the media creation tool gives you two options. The first one is upgrade this PC now. The second one is create installation media for another PC. Go ahead, select the second option and click next. Make sure that you select English as your language and make sure you select the correct edition of Windows. Now to check what edition of Windows you're using, right click on the start menu and click on system. Now you can see we're using Windows 10 Pro here. So we have to select Windows 10 Pro. If you're using Windows 10 Home Edition, uh, you need, you'll need to select Windows 10 Home. So we're going to select Windows 10 Pro here. And about the architecture, you can download both of them. Uh, you'll again need you'll need to see which architecture of Windows you're running. This laptop runs a 32-bit operating system, so we're going to download the 32-bit version. Then click Next. And choose which media to use uh, like I said I'm using a USB flash drive uh, and it needs to be at least 3 gigabytes you can also create an ISO file for uh, and then you can write the ISO file onto a DVD for use later but we're going to create a USB flash drive because it's easier and flash drives are generally faster than DVD drives so click next then select which removable drive you want to install to make sure you select the correct one because it will be erased so it is the E E drive yeah it's the E drive and click next and then now wait for the windows to download the installation files so once media creation tool has finished downloading all the required files to install windows 10 on the USB drive so let me just check whether or not it has done so yeah, I can see the USB drive icon has changed. And let's open it and check. So the setup file is there. Now what we're going to do is restart the laptop and boot it up from the USB drive. So now what I did here is press the F10 key so we can enter the boot menu on the laptop. Now this might differ from different brands of laptops like HP, Acer but on this Lenovo laptop the key to access the boot menu uh, boot menu while the system is booting up is F10 so enter the boot menu and select your uh, storage device on which the Windows installation files are present. So this one is USB HDD although it's a USB drive Sony storage media so we're going to select this and wait for Windows to boot up from the USB drive
So once setup finishes initializing, it will show you this screen. Uh, just leave it as it is and make sure the languages are selected to English and the input method is selected to US. Then click next. Select install now. Now when the setup asks for a product key, uh, just click skip, just zoom in and show it to you. Just select skip, you don't need to enter a product key, it will activate itself automatically if the previous upgrade was successful. Click skip. and then select custom install windows only now you might, might want to keep some partition or delete some partition or you might, might want to resize them uh, it's up to you I'm gonna select I'm not gonna keep any partitions so one single 80 gigabyte hard drive 74 gigabyte partition so good enough for me then click next now Windows is gonna install and this will take some time Alright, so it's been about 15 minutes since the setup started and it ju it's just showing that it's getting ready. So let's wait. Alright, so it's asking for a product key and we're gonna click do this later. Customize settings, turn the location off, advertising ID off, basic settings. Alright, so what is it asking? So I own this PC. Next. Skip this step. No, I just don't want to sign into a Microsoft account.
Alright guys, so Windows is uh, finally booted up and yeah, everything is working fine. It's the fresh installation of Windows 10. You just open computer, this PC, and let me see how much space is being occupied. So around 8.8 .8 gigabytes of space is occupied right now and still 65 gigabytes of space is free so alright guys it's been about an hour since I installed this Windows 10 uh, the fresh copy of Windows 10 and and I'm happy to say that Windows is activated and I ran Windows update to download the latest drivers so all the latest Lenovo drivers are installed and yeah the sound is working the sound was not working before so sound is working and let me show you the Windows activation status and by the way since we've done a clean install the option to go back to Windows 7 has disappeared and yeah you can see here Windows is activated now and by the way this is a fresh install so yeah everything is working fine and thank you guys for watching this video and do stay tuned for more tech videos like these see you all later